From the very start of the Jujutsu Kaisen, we have seen Yuji as a very powerful character, even before he became Sukuna's vessel. So how is it possible? Before we start, let me tell you there are some heavy spoilers here, so let's jump on it. When Yuji Taduri was introduced for the first time in the series, we got to know that his parents were dead, and Yuji was raised by his grandfather, Wasuke Itadori. When Yuji went to see his grandfather in the hospital, his grandpa was about to tell him something very important about Yuji's parents, but Yuji ignored it and said, I don't care! Wasuke also told him not to end up like him. When it's your time to go, make sure you're surrounded by others. And then he passed away. But in chapter number 143, we see a flashback where Yuji's mother and father are shown for the first time. It's been a mystery since the start of the show. But after reading this part, it actually explains everything about Yuji's character. So in that chapter, we see Wasuke Itadori telling his son Jin that he can live his life however he wants. But he must leave that woman or he will die. But Jin replies that he shouldn't talk about such things in front of Yuji. And babies remember more than you think. But Wasuke was very angry and replied that I knew you wanted a child and that didn't happen with Kaori. Then we see a lady calling him father-in-law. That lady was none other than Yuji's mother. Son of a bitch, I knew it. But here we notice something weird about Yuji's mother. She had the exact same mark on her head as Keto, which means she could be possessed by Kenjaku like Keto. And as we know, Jin wanted a child with Kaori, but she was dead. So it's possible that Jin could have made a deal with Kenjaku so that he could have a child with Kaori. And I think this is what Wasuke was trying to tell Yuji before he died. So if this theory is somehow true, then we have our answer to why Yuji was so powerful from the start and why he became a vessel for Sukuna. So this is for now. I hope you like this video. Till then, bye bye.